So this is my EPQ journey. So from my EPQ, my aim was to research and learn about my topic, develop a range of skills for mainly university, so referencing, researching effectively, and then producing a 5,000 word dissertation on how did Stephen Sondheim revolutionize the American musical. So why this subject? Simply, I love musical theatre, I feel most live on a stage, and in my academic studies in both drama and music, I don't get to study any musical theatre works, partly because many academics don't consider musical theatre a worthy subject to study. However, some do consider Stephen Sondheim an exception. So how did I approach my project? I combed through over 17 scores, which equated to approximately 30 hours of listening. And then a majority of my research came through reading books. I read mainly four books on both personal biographies of Sondheim from Craig Zaden, as well as um, analytical studies by Joan Gordon, histories of the musical by Martin Stein, and then supported my research with a variety of articles, documentaries, and interviews with Sondheim himself, with conductors and with performers who have performed his works for over nearly 60 years. So what did I discover? I discovered a rich history of the American musical that has now spanned for nearly over 100 years, starting with Rogers and Kern in the 1920s with Showboat, and how that developed from the more cabaret-style acts of Gershwin, and then moving into the incredible life of Sondheim, who was a boy who came from a happy family that ended up divorced and he somehow landed as a next door neighbour to Oscar Hammerstein and then was mentored by Hammerstein and went on to work with the likes of Jerome Kern as well as Richard Rogers and Ethan Len Bernstein and then from my academic research and studies of his score you discover the endless academic potential and musical complexity of his works and most famously Sweeney Todd is all developed from a Gregorian monk chant for the Dies Irae, which is the Day of Wrath, fitting for a musical about the demon Barbara of Fleet Street. And then looking a bit at the influence Sondheim has had on those he has mentored after him. So what have I learnt from my EPQ project? His research skills has been one huge thing, and trying to narrow down my research. At first I began in quite a vague, open manner, and was reading everything I could, and I eventually found that wasn't necessarily necessary. Referencing was also a huge skill I developed. I luckily decided to reference as I go, and then decided to work in the style of Oxford, which was a brilliant experience to get me used to something that I'll have to utilize at university life. I also had to learn the importance of deadlines and making sure how important it is to meet them. And then I also learned second-hand is your friend when buying books. And so of just the four I used, I spent about £30, and if I had bought them first-hand, I'd have been well over 100 So that has been one vital thing that I will continue to take on. I've also learned a structured approach is vital. I'm quite a person who likes to plan on the go, and that did occasionally bite me in the bum. And the main thing being that over some time as approximately 13 scores, and in the end my dissertation only focused on two. And then I also found I needed to adapt my work for my audience. I learned not everyone is musically in tuned, and I had to adapt how I explain to an audience who are not necessarily familiar with musical terminology and the musical form. And so here is a quick example taken from my essay. This was the opening of 1970s Company, and this is just the first three bars, and I was talking about you have this busy vampire, you have the close dissonance, you have this falling third motif, and most people would probably have no clue what I was talking about. So I eventually adapted into something far more detailed here, clearly indicating and adapting to point out things to, that a musical eye would not immediately expect. And also the importance of colour, I think, was something I've also learned as someone who is fond of black and white. It was making colour and making everything clearly indicating to an audience who I'm not necessarily immediately used to presenting to on my area of expertise.
So, thank you for listening, and are there any questions? How much do you think Sondheim, the, the chance encounter with his next door neighbour, do you think that shifted the course of his life? Yes. As Sondheim has said that if Oscar Hammerstein was a geologist, he would have been a geologist.